Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made these textured canister jars, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty excited about today's DIY. I'm going to do a set of three canister jars in the teal color to go with the painting uh, that I did last week. And I have quite a few items here. Again, I will leave a complete list in my description box. And as I'm applying them, I will point them out. Okay, you guys, uh, let's get started. So the first thing that I need to do is wash my jar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm going to have to let that uh, soak for quite a bit to get those stickers off. Okay, you guys, so I've washed all of my jars and the lids have some goo gone uh, soaking on top of them to get rid of that sticker. So in the meantime, I'm just going to do one uh, jar on camera as well as my candlestick holder because that's going to be the base, right? It's going to be stuck on like that. So because I only have so much of the aquamarine metallic paint, um, I know I only have enough for one coat to finish all three jars. I'm going to um, add some of this teal into my modeling paste um, so that it's not white. And then I would definitely need two coats of the metallic. So I'm hoping that with this, in with my modeling paste, um, I can get away with one coat of the metallic. And I'm just going to spoon some in here. And we're just going to squirt some teal paint in here and darken this modeling paste up. I have lots of this. I um, I have another jar of it. I love this color. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to decorate my home, uh, my accessories in teal. Uh, after I've lived with the blue that I have, the blue and the silvers and grays and whites. There, that's mixed up pretty good. Move that one out of the way. And I'm not using a palette knife uh, because I do not like the feel or the sound um, of that, uh, whatever it's made out of. It's not steel, but um, so I'm using just a craft stick. You want to make sure that you don't um, go past the edge of the jar. This one's not going to be bad like because <clears throat> I'm going to be having the candlestick as the ba as the base of it. But you want to kind of keep it uniform, right? So you just kind of push it up to the edge like that. And just get it on here and then I'll uh we'll do some designs to it. Okay, and then um, once you have, you know, a fairly decent layer of it on, you don't need it that thick, and you want to make sure that you come up to the rim uh, where the lid is going to screw on. You don't want to go past where those threads are. And then once, once it's all on, you just kind of uh, move it around, make some peaks and valleys. Make a design, whatever, whatever you like. Too thick up there. 
And it's okay if some of the glass is poking through because you're going to be painting that anyway. And it just adds to the design. Okay. Isn't that pretty? And then Ed is going to be so gorgeous with that uh, aquamarine metallic paint. Okay, I'm just going to set that one aside, let that dry. Okay, now we need to do our uh, candlestick holder, uh, the base of one of our jars. And I'm going to have to do this um, in two steps because there's no place that I can uh, grab onto it and the whole thing needs to be covered. So I'm just going to do the bottom part here first. Just like the jar, you want to be careful when you're coming to the bottom. You don't want it to go over that edge. Okay. You just want to kind of stay right on the edge like that. So there. That's going to look really, really sharp in the metallic. Okay, so I'm going to let that piece dry. I'm going to do the other two pieces. And then once my modeling paste is on all three pieces, including this little bottom part here, um, I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, so I finally managed to uh, get the stickers off of my lids. And I have never had such a problem with stickers in all my life. These guys were, whew, they were stuck on there and there's still even a little bit left, but that's okay. So the first thing that I wanna do is uh, put a row of these little uh, round gems along the uh, edge of my lid here. So I'm going to just cut I'm not going to glue these on with uh, anything. I'm just going to use the sticker backing, the adhesive. It's pretty good. And get it on there as straight as possible. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to glue my little knob on. These are little crystal knobs that I get off Amazon. Um, I've, uh, I bought these a while back. I will look for them and leave a link. I'm just going to add a little E6000 on the tip here because we want this on before we put our little um, rhinestones on. I'm just going to add a little dab of hot glue to help it stay put while I'm adding those rhinestones. And I'm just going to eyeball um, the center. I'm going to be using a clear uh, Elmer's glue. Um, Will over at Will's DIY Lighting uh, Decor and more. He's got a great channel, you guys. He uses this to adhere his crushed glass and then he um, seals it again with another layer of this. And these little rhinestones, I got them for $1.25 at Dollarama, and are they ever pretty? And then we're just going to put on this particular glue that I bought, this Elmer's glue. Um, it's very pliable. It's not really gooey so it um it moves around pretty good 
So it's perfect to do something like this with it. I'm just gonna push it up close to my little handle there. And I'm just gonna push it to the um, edge. Yep. Okay, and I'm just going to use, this is my Paradise that I put in my painting, Paradise Extra Fine. And I'm just going to do a light dusting. I'm just going to start sprinkling these little guys on here. And just kind of push them into push them into place. And now I'm going to go back in with my Paradise Glitter. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that, you guys. Oof. You can see the sparkle, but it's very sparkly. Okay, this is dried a little bit. I'm just going to brush off any that are just kind of sitting on the top. And before I put this on, what I thought I would do is maybe add a few of the turquoise ones. Just in the odd spot here. Kind of adds a little, brings in a little bit of the turquoise down. Sorry about the noise, you guys. It sounds like somebody's sanding something outside, one of my neighbors. So now I'm just going to um, seal these little guys in. Okay, you guys, I'm going to let that one completely dry. I'm going to do my other two, and then I will bring you back, and we will um, paint our jars with the metallic aquamarine color. Okay, you guys, my modeling paste is all dry, and I'm going to just do the two pieces on camera, and I will do the other two uh, jars off camera. I'm using a aquamarine deco art extreme sheen metallic paint and I'm going to use a soft smaller brush um, because I don't want any um, brush uh, I don't want any brush strokes 
on my um, jar. So I'm just going to go ahead and Now what you want to do with the modeling paste, you want to make sure that it is completely covered um, around your edges because you need to seal it in. Like you're not going to soak something like this in, in water. You're, you're just going to be wiping it with a, with a cloth. But you don't want the modeling paste to get wet. So you need to make sure that you seal it all in completely. So yeah, you want to make sure that that's all covered under there and along your rim. Sometimes if you go back, back and forth with your brush, you'll get the little... Um, the little peaks or valleys that are going the other way. Just having a little look here, make sure that I don't have any. There. That is so pretty, you guys. Okay. Turn that upside down and let it dry. And now, I think the best way to tackle this is to do to do the top first. Oh, there's some really cool um, designs in the candlestick holder for my base. That's really neat. Now, what I'm going to have to do, you guys, is once this is dry so I can pick it up, is um, right now I can't. This actually isn't bad. Um... But I have to be able to hold on to this top part in order to um, seal. So what I think I'm going to do is once this is dry, I'm just going to um, uh, turn it over and, and make sure that that is sealed. This, um, this table is one of those fold-up tables from Costco. And man, they're perfect for my crafts and stuff because they're nice and wide. I mean, some of the paintings that I do, I have to do them on my mm. dining room table. 
because they're bigger and they have to go the other way. But for the most part, um, these are awesome crafting tables, you guys. I might not even have to wait because I'm kind of getting, I'm getting underneath there and I think I'm catching, catching it all. And the nice thing about these tables is it doesn't really matter if you paint on them. <laughs> they're, they're meant to look like you've been working on them, right? can't pick that up. Okay. Yeah, I think I got that all. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to finish the other two pieces. We'll let them all dry and then I'll bring you back. We'll put it and we'll put it all together. So our paint is all dry and now we are going to glue on the candlestick holder as my base on the bottom of one of the jars. So I'm going to use my uh, nice strong E6000. I'm just going to put a couple of dabs of hot glue just so that it'll help set. Then I'm going to just eyeball the center here. Press down, let the hot glue set. There. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this color, you guys, is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put all of my jars together, and then I will put them on display and give you a little look. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. I am really, really pleased with the way these turned out. This aquamarine extreme shine uh, metallic paint is absolutely gorgeous with the modeling paste. Like, look, I'm gonna give you a close up here. Like, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And I just love these little, um, these little gems from Dollarama. Yeah, you guys, these jars are so pretty. I didn't put any of the um, gems along here. I just wanted to give you a look without them. I got them on both the other lids though. Yeah, oh, so pretty. I love this color. I just love this teal color. Or well, I guess this is aquamarine, but it's, uh, yeah, just beautiful. Just give me a look right on top. Like they're very sparkly. Um, I don't know if my uh, video is really showing the sheen on them, but um, they are very, very shiny. Beautiful, beautiful, you guys. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell. And you will be notified when I upload all of my future videos. And always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch. And God bless.